when they reach the moral state that America is now. He ain't a Muslim. I'm not a Muslim. He said, of the 22 civilizations that appeared, 19 of them collapsed when they reached the moral state that the United States is in now. Who are you imitating? I don't want to be like everybody else. And our children, may Allah bless them, 95% of the Muslim children go to public school. 5% of Muslims go to Muslim school. 5%. Imam Suraj, can you come to our school to raise money for the Muslim school? I go to Memphis, Tennessee, Pleasant View School, Muslim school, a fundraiser. You know how much money we raise for a fundraiser for a Muslim school in Memphis, Tennessee? One night, $950,000. $950,000 for a Muslim school in Memphis, Tennessee. For a handful of Muslim children. I love them. I will continue to do it. I go all over America to raise the money for Muslim schools, only for an elite, a, a, a small group, 5% of the Muslim children. What about the Muslim children in public school? What about those Muslims who can't afford to send their kids to a Muslim school? Who are you going to imitate? For me, my heroes, are the prophets and the sahaba of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam? I talking to some young Muslim children. I said, "Give me some money if you can name, you know, four sahaba. I give you a hundred dollars if you can name four sahaba of the Prophet peace and blessing be upon him." Are you kidding me? You kidding me? Our children can't name the companions of the Prophet peace and blessing be upon him. Are you kidding me? What's going on with the Muslim woman? Because they're sick and they, they're following other than the Quran and the Sunnah. If you follow other than the Quran and the Sunnah, ain't no hope for you in America at all. It's over. It's good now. Your job is to help the people here, to give them guidance, not to follow blindly of 22 civilizations that appeared, 19 of them collapsed when they reached the moral state that the United States is in now. In other European countries, Italy is predicted by the year 2050, 60% of the Italians will have no brothers, no sisters, no uncles, no aunts, no cousins. 60%. Why? Because they are Following other than the truth, I mentioned today in the khutbah, I'm going to mention what Allah said uh, uh, years ago. He told the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, He said, Ya ibadi, kul illa Oh my slaves, every one of you are, are, are misguided unless I guide you, therefore ask me and I will guide you. They have abandoned Allah. They have abandoned the way. I told you the statistics of people losing their, their, their faith. All over the world, they're losing their faith. And the last one, Arnold Toynbee, testimony. And then I, I finish. This one here is Subhanallah. Uh, if I can find it. You probably think I can't find it, right? Hmm? Yes? Yes, you think? Oh. You got a couple minutes? Definitely. A couple minutes? Plenty. If you say, Mom, it's enough, we had enough, I'm, I'm, I'm out of here. I'll I, I come, I come down the stage. No, no, no. Well, you did not have enough. You didn't have enough. Nope. Imam, after you read those thousands of pages, just give the word. After you read that, you're going to give us a report. Yes? Okay, inshallah. If I am alive. <laughs> Listen to what he said. On the told me. He said,
Remember this man, not a Muslim. Listen to what he said. The solution to all international conflicts lies only in embracing Islam in mass. Because Islam is the only religion that can transcend nationalism. I see with great dismay that nationalism is gaining grounds even among the bearers of the Quran. I would hope for a day when all humanity will break this idol and unite as the children of God. You see, for me, honestly, as a Muslim, I don't care about your color, ethnicity. The Prophet said, mm -hmm. He said, All of humanity, everyone are the children of Adam, and Adam was created of clay. That's who we are. We're the children of Adam. Why you got a problem with dark people? Why you got a problem with people from the West? Excuse me? One third of the Muslim women live in non Muslim countries. Where do you find the Muslim? Where do you find them? You find them in Europe. You find them in Australia. You find them in the United Kingdom. You find them in France. You find them in the United States. You find them in Africa and Asia. You find them all over the world. Why are you looking at something inferior? The Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, said, in the Allah Ta'ala, لَا يَنْدُرُوا إِلَىٰ أَسَامِكُمْ وَلَا إِلَىٰ سُوَارِكُمْ وَلَاكِنْ يَنْدُرُوا إِلَىٰ قُلُوبِكُمْ وَعَمَالِكُمْ Allah the Almighty will not look at your, your forms or your bodies. He look at your heart and your deeds. This is what we all about. So in my conclusion, brothers and sisters, the future of Islam in America, reminded of the hadith, the Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, was asked, Matasah, Ya Rasulullah, when is the hour of judgment? And the Prophet said, Ma'adetada, what did you prepare for? My question is, what have we prepared for the Muslims of America and the American people? Where's the preparation? But if you don't believe, if you don't believe in yourself, if you are an elephant with a rope on your foot, then you don't understand the work that we have to do. I'm going to close with um, with a man I learned about recently. I was in um, Cincinnati uh, called the Islamic Society of Greater Cincinnati, Imam Imam Musa, beautiful brother. And he told me about a man that he invited to his masjid to speak. The man came, he spoke in the masjid. Imam gave a speech and he said, the man, this man that I'm going to tell you about, he said, I want to come back again. When you get a chance tonight, I want you to Google Richard Bernstein. Richard Bernstein. Who was Richard Bernstein? Richard Bernstein was a man who graduated from the University of Michigan. He graduated summa cum laude. What is summa cum laude? By the way, I love graduations. I, I try out every graduation. Even preschool. You see me and Imam Ali would be crying together. So when you go to the graduation, the master of ceremonies would say, so and so graduated cum laude. Cum laude mean with distinction, with honor. So and so graduated student, magna cum laude. Magna cum laude with great distinction. So and so summa cum laude with the greatest of distinction. This man, Richard Bernstein, graduated summa cum laude. When he graduated, he became a lawyer, a good lawyer in Michigan. 
Then he became an um, adjunct professor at the University of Michigan. And then he became the Supreme Court Justice in the state of Michigan. Pretty good? Pretty good? Impressive. Okay. Imam, I'm challenging you. You know I love you, right? This is payback for what you did to me this last day. Imam, you know what a marathon is? A marathon is a race 26 point something miles. How many of you ever ran a marathon? How many dreamt about running a marathon? Oh, you missed it. This man, Richard Bernstein, ran 18 marathons. One more. How many of you ever heard of the Iron Man Triathlon? <laughs> Shake, have you ever done that? You just he going like this, you gotta look at it. Look. Okay. He ran the Iron Man Triathlon. What is that? 